One of my best friends told me he moved to Atlanta and joined the Atlanta Opera Company, and he loved it. And so I joined one of the open call auditions and loved every part of it. I mean, everyone here was just so welcoming and made me calm down a bit because I was new. Um, and then we kind of formed a family. The community that you build when you're a part of a company like this is just amazing. I've been with this, the, the company since 1997, and this is my 50th production with the Atlanta Opera Chorus. This is definitely my home company, um, and they're colleagues that I've been singing with for 20 years. They're my friends off the stage as well as on the stage. It's almost always a challenge, you know, either singing a different part or a different repertory or, you know, a different piece. When I was a student, I was told never work with the same director more than three times because you'll, you'll learn all the tricks. And at that point, it's just a job. But there's been enough change here over the years and guest directors and guest conductors. So I, I am always learning. Well, it's, it's constant work. The chorus is only as good as its weakest link. I think that Rolando Salazar, our chorus master, works really hard to make sure he picks good people and the right voices. And then our rehearsal schedule is rigorous. We're here a lot um, rehearsing, making sure things are right. And then I think people put the work in. They, they want it to be good and they want it to be special. A lot of times there will come across a difficult passage or something that feels hard to sing or hard language-wise, but there was this desire to get it right. And I don't know if I've ever been with a group that really, really wants for it to be right. At the end of the day, a lot of us were sitting with our friends trying to learn all of that <laughs> language by ourselves because we wanted it to be right and we wanted, we desired it to be excellent. And I think that's, a, that's an important part of this group um, is that People want it to go well, they're gonna do what they need to do, and they're gonna encourage you and lift other people up and to help them do better. A lot of stuff goes on backstage and we have to make sure that we know exactly where our props are and what part of the stage you're coming off of and make sure that you're not running into anybody. Then you have to completely change and then really listen for your calls because a lot of times there's be three or four chorus members that are called for this one part or you need to go and make sure that you're helping every, this part run smoothly. So yeah, there is a lot of controlled chaos back there, I would say. But that's just the best part of opera, right? It's just the craziness that goes on backstage, but you know everything is completely in order and it looks gorgeous when you walk out there. It's been a lot of fun. I think that's what I always say. It's just so much fun to be here. It's meaningful, yes, uh, but the camaraderie that we have as a chorus, as a group of individuals to come together and create this wonderful music with a big company, big orchestra, big sets, lots of people on stage, it's, it's enjoyable. Like it really makes you feel good about what you're doing. So it, it's just been a, a blast. And, and to be able to come back and be around, again, amazing singers in that first rehearsal, you're just smiling the whole time, right? Because it's like, oh, finally, I get to do what I'm supposed to be doing. And when we're really on stage and in sync together, it is an experience. I mean, it's incredible. It really is. Mm -hmm.